friends, Heyoka here. Today we're going to be carving pumpkins! So, this is your pumpkin carving how-to, and let's get stuck in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a Mahusiv pumpkin. Check out this bad boy. I got this for a three pound from Tesco's. And you will need a pen to draw where your lid is going to be cut out, and also your lovely little pumpkin face on. Next, you're going to need a sharp knife to initially pierce the pumpkin and get through its very, very, very thick body. Then you're going to need a bread knife. The reason why you need a bread knife as well is they have ridges on them which make it much, much easier to carve the pumpkin face and the lid out. Next, you're going to need a spoon or something to scoop out all of your pumpkin brains and pumpkin seeds. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> and last but not least, you will need a bowl or two as you're going to be keeping your pumpkin innards inside. Now, you can make pumpkin soup with your pumpkin mush or you can toast pumpkin seeds as well. If you're carving out a pumpkin lid, you would go round in a circle. You just get your pen, you draw a circle, you would use your sharp knife to go in and then you would use your bread knife to go right the way around. However, this year I'd like my pumpkins to look a little bit more fancy. So what I've done is I've actually done a zigzag lid. So it looks like it's got little triangle edges to it. So I've went around this twice just because it's quite tricky to get through this one as it is so big. So now what you do is you put your knife in and you're just, oh, you push down the triangles which are left at the top of your pumpkin and then after you've done that you push down on your knife like so because if you have a little stock you can't always pull it off it's coming it's coming and then you just lift out your pumpkin lid now we're going to have a look at the brains <laughs> So out it goes, and this is your pumpkin brain, so your pumpkin is full of this, and within you're going to find all of your little pumpkin seeds, you can't see very well. So what to do is to take out your pumpkin seeds, put them into a bowl, and then if you're making pumpkin soup, use the brains without the seeds and put them into another bowl at the side so you can make your soup later. So while my eldest daughter is helping me scoop out the pumpkin seeds with her spoon, I'm going to teach you a little trick. So basically after you've got all the brains and seeds off of your pumpkin lid, and also when your pumpkin has been gutted and there is none left in there, what you're going to do is get some table salt. If you sprinkle some table salt on top of your pumpkin lid and also within your pumpkin, and you just kind of smooth it around. This helps it last, it stops it from rotting as quickly because you will find that pumpkins, they do only last a few days before they start decomposing and the fruit flies come. So if you just put some salt on the inside of your lid and within your pumpkin, it will help it last a little more. So basically, once you've finished scraping it all, this is what you're left with. It might take a wee bit of elbow grease to get it all like off the sides because it is like a big stringy mess in there but that is all the guts that we have okay so the next thing that you're going to think about doing is your pumpkin face so after you've got all of your guts and brains out Um, you're going to have to think, do you want to have triangle eyes, do you want circle eyes, do you want it to have jaggy teeth? And you have to start thinking about your design. You can also Google some designs as well, because there's some really creative people out there that can give you some fantastic ideas. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to move on to getting our design done. <laughs> so again, a quick reminder, just take your hand in some table salt and then rub the inside of your pumpkin. Get it all round and on the base. Just because it makes it last longer and salt is always a good thing to have if a naked flame is going to be around. What you're going to want to do when you've cut your, your shape round is simply to hold on to your pumpkin and then push. 
If you keep pushing, they will pop out and then you will have your little pumpkin face. So now all that's left is to either place a candle within and put your pumpkin top or lid back on or if you're not keen on having a naked flame in your candle, say you've got mischievous pets or young children around the house and you're just a little nervous, then the next thing that you could actually do is you could use like electronic LED lights. You could just place them within and that would look just as special. If not, a small candle or a tea light can be placed within. And then you'll have your pumpkin seeds and what we're going to do is toast them with some olive oil and a sprinkle of salt and a sprinkle of sugar and with your pumpkin innards that are left over or your pumpkin brains you can add them to pumpkin soup but usually for a pumpkin soup you would also chop up a full pumpkin and then add in the rest and you can add in carrots, coriander, potatoes, ginger, you can make a nice soup. I might do that this year, but I have a very full house this year for Halloween, so we'll see. But definitely sweetened toasted pumpkin seeds, if I don't drop them, that will be a really good um, snack for Halloween. So I hope that you've enjoyed my little how-to on pumpkin carving. I know it's been short and sweet, but hopefully you'll have had inspiration. Also you can drizzle a little maple syrup or a touch of honey on top of your toasted pumpkin seeds just to sweeten them a little and just a disclaimer you should not be carving pumpkins unless you're an adult just in case you do get hurt and I hope you've enjoyed our little tutorial on how to do pumpkin carving and I hope you enjoy a wonderful Halloween, Samhain, Samhain, Witches New Year, however you want to name the holiday. Have an amazing time and bless be loved ones. Until next time. <laughs>